many years I've been working with HIV and uh, and I have always been a passionate lover of animals. My whole family has been. And I used to always wonder what can I do for them, what can I do for them. I used to see them suffering and my heart would just bleed every time. And so I started actually volunteering at a shelter and was aghast at the quality of care there. And then I felt that if I really want to do something, I might as well just do it. And that's how All Creatures Great and Small came into existence. When I set up All Creatures, it was, it started off with dogs. So I moved 55 dogs from that shelter into ours. Very quickly, because we are in a rural area, larger animals started coming and then we kind of grew organically. So, okay, the, the stables had to be built because suddenly these cows and buffaloes came and horses came and donkeys came. The kind of animals that come to us are animals who are in distress and have no one to take care of. So they are animals who have been abandoned. Many of them are pets which have, who have been abandoned and can't manage on the street. Uh, animals who met with accidents. It's just each of them have an incredible story. It's like that blind horse of ours, uh, Bulbul. Two groups that breed horses and look after, you know, they use horses for various things like shadis. They um, got into a fight and one group to get at another group dug out, gouged out the eyes of Bulbul. So when she came to us, she was so scared of human beings. She was in the stable. She would not allow anyone. We would just go put her food in and she would go crazy when enter, anyone entered the stable. And after six months, she started allowing us. She started trusting us. You know, we have, we've been so lucky. We have such a dedicated team here. This job is a 24 seven job because suddenly at night, something happens to some animal. And one of the boys who stays here will, will see to them, you know. The challenges I think very often are to make people understand uh, because I think a lot of people here at least in the village think that this is mad woman who's you know God knows what she is doing and when I when we first started work here they actually said oh she's making money by selling the blood of dogs so I, I used to laugh a lot you know but of course now the villagers bring the animals to us and they also are becoming very supportive. Now more and more people are also getting interested in working with animals and so hopefully the movement will grow stronger and other people will also start similar uh, projects. Because one of the things I want to show is that it is possible 